I've been hunting your kind my entire life. There's no use hiding. We'll always find you. This is the end of the road. I can't leave you. How do we stop this? Do you really think you can beat me? So Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is airing on May 10th with the premiere of its sixth season. Um, it's shortest season yet with 13 episodes. It's also the season that's airing the latest into the year as it normally starts in the fall and continues around to the summer. And with Endgame out now, that movie has raised a lot of questions on where Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will fit into the Marvel Cinematic Universe timeline and all of that, but just full disclosure, there'll be there's going to be spoilers for Endgame in this video because it's pretty much impossible to talk about uh, the possibility of what happens in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.'s future without discussing the end of Endgame because it has some pretty serious implications for what the hell is up with the show. Um, if I'm going to be honest, I think Avengers Endgame is the first real thing that has pushed Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. out of continuity. Now, there's no... It's no, it's no surprise that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has been less and less connected to the wider MCU as time has went on. Back in season one of the show, the writers were being completely filled in on what is happening in the movies so that they could write the show accordingly. That was because um, Josh Whedon's brother, who was Jed Whedon, was running the show back then. And since Josh Whedon was basically the... Besides Kevin Feige, Josh Whedon was kind of the main guy with Marvel back then. He'd created both the first Avengers movie and the second Avengers movie, which they that just shows how much faith they had in him. Obviously, with his brother working on the TV show, it was really easy for them to work together. Um, this continued kind of into season two, although less so with, Age of, with the Age of Ultron tie-in. It wasn't near as big as Winter Soldier tie-in, but it was still big enough that, the, that in universe, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. had a pretty big connection to the events of the movie. From then on, however, things definitely got less and less. In season three of the show, there was just a couple of references to Civil War. In season four of the show, there was kind of references to Doctor Strange, but they were a little bit... I mean, you could say they're connections, but they also... They could have just been something put in when, they, when the movie came out. Um, and then in season five, we had references to Thanos and his armies coming, and that was it. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's actually a rumor going around that the writers of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., as of season 5 onwards, they actually have to, um, they use the trailers for the movies to find out anything they can to tie the show in. So, there was a rumor that they were just looking at the Infinity War trailers and just scouring them for details on how Infinity War would affect the Marvel Cinematic Universe so that they could write the show accordingly. Luckily, however, we got the excuse that season 5 ends moments before the snap occurs so they can avoid it. And season six takes place exactly one year after that. So season six takes place in May 2019. While Avengers Endgame, uh, from the Marvel Cinematic Universe onwards, from Spider-Man Far From Home onwards, takes place in 2023. So, say Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is still in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That would make it four years behind the movies now. On top of that... If Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. wants to connect into the Endgame, they're going to have to be in an Earth where half of humanity doesn't exist. And as far as I know, the season I think the season 6 premiere actually was shown at WonderCon a couple of weeks back. And nobody mentioned anything about there being references to Endgame. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure the writers of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. said at the Comic-Con pretty recently that there will be no connections to Endgame. And I think that they thought by setting the show, by setting season six one year after season five, they would be able to avoid all of the Endgame stuff and stay in, content stay in continuity while pretending that Endgame still happened. Unfortunately, though, with how Endgame happened, with their snap not being reversed and with just how everything played out, it's kind of impossible for Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. to account for what happened in that movie. So I think that this is going to be our real first time that the show gets pushed out of continuity which really 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 sucks and um, that's just how badly the relationship between marvel television and marvel studios has degraded to the fact that they basically don't talk to each other anymore so the television studio are forced to kind of find out anything they can themselves rather than getting it off of marvel studios and because of that it means that the the tagline for agents show back in season one was it's all connected that couldn't be more incorrect now. Nothing is connected between these these two uh, 
these two studios anymore, which really sucks. But I guess that's just how Disney kind of is with their television studios. They're not given near as much prestige or just talked to as much as the movie studios. Then again, there was there's also the fact that just the people in charge of the old Marvel television didn't get along with Kevin Feige and that. There, it's it's a big long thing, and it's it's just fascinating how much the relationship is degraded to this point. But um, I, the the way that they could avoid this is they could say that by Agents of Shield doing tons of time travel stuff back in season five, they created kind of an alternate timeline and ended up being in an alternate timeline or whatever, uh, something crazy like that, uh, which is plausible. But there's also Endgame introduced alternate. Alternate universes, alternate timelines, all that kind of stuff. And they could definitely say that at some point, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. recently has diverged from that timeline. And they're now in their own kind of solo timeline that is off from the main MCU. That's the only way I could see them kind of fixing this whole situation. But but yeah, Endgame, as much as I love that movie, it really fucked over the future of the television shows, which sucks. But... That's just how Marvel is now, I guess. Um, so yeah, what do you think? Do you think we're actually going to see something to a snap? Because we're not going to know for sure until season six premieres. But from what we know about the season, it's ten days. Not even ten. It's eight days away, um, and we know nothing about how the snap is going to play into the show. And we, um, the fact that we know nothing makes me feel like there is nothing to know about. So yeah, what do you think? Do you think that the show is still tied into the main MCU? Do you think it's not? Do you think Endgame? fricked over the movies or fricked over the tv shows um but yeah thank you very much for watching and uh hope you have a great day